Yo guys, I'm here in Westlake Hills, the richest neighborhood in Austin, Texas. This is a place where Joe Rogan, Matthew McConaughey, Lance Armstrong live. And I'm going to be knocking on random millionaires doors, asking what they do for a living and how they make their money. Hopefully they can give me some advice and hopefully they can give you some advice. Yes, sir. Hey, We're gonna help you. I really love your house. I just had a question of what you did for a living. <laughs> Uh, I don't own this house. I'm just a renter. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful house. I make YouTube videos. I'm just walking around seeing what people do for a living. Cool. I talk about money and stuff, but yeah. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, me too. Cool. That's cool. All right, have a good day, man. You got food? Hey, how's it going? I really like your house. I just had a question of what you do for a living. None of your business. All right, I just want to make videos online. Just yeah. walking around asking people about stuff. Yeah. No. But have a good day, man. Thanks. So I went to about 20 more houses and took L's on every single one. Either they didn't want to talk to me or they just weren't home or didn't answer the door. And to be honest, I was thinking about scrapping the whole video at this point because only like two people answered the door. And that's when I got a call. The, the call, it was from the cops. <laughs> Basically, someone had taken pictures of my car and reported me to the police from soliciting or trying to go inside people's houses. I don't even know, but I had to call the police back, tell them what we were doing, and apparently knocking on people's doors and asking what they do for a living isn't something that's respected in Austin. But the call that he gave me did inspire me to maybe call people instead. So I'm gonna call a couple of my friends and some people you guys might know that have hit the million dollar mark and see what they think the best way to make a million dollars is in 2022. So the first person I'm gonna call is my friend Cameron who actually hit the million dollar mark relatively recently. I just leaked his number. Yo, it's good, bro. Okay, so I'm filming a video right now and I have a question for you. If someone wanted to start making money and they wanted to make a million dollars without a huge startup budget, what would you recommend they do? Honestly, I would recommend starting an agency. I feel like the agency market is so easy to get into. It's going to take a lot of work at first, but it's, there's like there's no capital that you need to invest at all. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to get into, and once you got it down, you can start scaling it. You can start outsourcing to different people, and I think that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. But there's like so many other ways that people would be recommending, such as drop shipping, but you need money for that. But just with an SMMA business, you can get started right away, and mm -hmm. all you need is time, and you can get started. How would you recommend someone start a social media agency? Honestly, do a lot of outreach. I think that's the main key. Mm -hmm. But don't do outreach that's local. The people that are locally with you, they're just not... Those businesses are very small, and they're not really interested in online presence. You want to focus on e-commerce clients. Mm -hmm. Reach out to them on Instagram. They're running ads all the time. And mm -hmm. you can say, like, hey, I like what you did with this ad, but we could run it better with my agency. Cool. All right, I appreciate it, man. All right, guys, so as you can see, Cameron, he said to start a social media agency, basically where you grow Instagram accounts, where you grow TikTok accounts, post videos, pictures, and just market for other people's social medias, which is actually a pretty good idea. If you guys just search up starting a social media agency on YouTube, you'll see countless videos of people that have done this. Obviously, you won't make a million overnight, but if you start your own agency and start working on it for a couple years, I can definitely see a seven-figure social media agency starting anytime soon. Now we're going to call my friend Austin, who's made over a million dollars by selling things on Amazon and doing retail arbitrage. <laughs> Yo, what up, bro? Yo. Okay, so listen, if you're a teenager and don't have a super big budget, but what is the first business you'd recommend to make a million dollars? The first business I'd recommend. So I think my whole answer is, is kind of like counterproductive but uh, let me just start by saying this when i was 16 i started selling on amazon mm -hmm. and within a year i did two hundred thousand dollars in sales the next year i did another hundred thousand dollars in sales and that's like around when i started to realize like i don't want to do this the rest of my life mm -hmm. um i think it's easy to make a million if you just sit down and grind at any business model whether that's amazon fba which is what i did uh, mm -hmm. reselling on amazon um, drop shipping, affiliate marketing. If you really sit down and grind, I think you can make a million. But the hard part is making a million doing something you actually love. I agree. Um, so that's that's like where I kind of switched gears recently. Mm -hmm. um, I started. I, I basically asked myself, "What's the thing I love doing?" And it's making videos. So um, now I'm trying to make all my money from making videos. And I, you know, I do my own YouTube. I have. Um, a media agency mm -hmm. that creates content and then at the end of this year I'm projected to have 100k in my bank account just from doing that that's crazy so I think yeah I think it's 
you have to find something you love mm-hmm. and just be obsessed with it for the next five years and you will make a million dollars. So I think what, what kids really need to worry about now is making enough money so they can survive and then on the side do the thing they really love and then just wait for it to compound until they mm-hmm. get that million. I agree. That's what I would say too. Just find something you enjoy doing and just continue doing that until you make a million. Like you said, you can probably make a million doing other things, but if you don't want to do that for the rest of your life, find something you really like to do. Hopefully we hit that million with YouTube, bro. <laughs> yeah.